everyone welcome to e-learning nuggets channel in today's video i'm going to just show you a sample program which i have written here okay this program is going to display the following student details in this format roll number name average marks and grade here we are not going to take any input from the user but we are going to assign the values directly and we are going to display the output let us see how we are going to do this program see i have a class which I have named it as sample and I have written public static void main string args. After that, I have opened the flower brackets and I am going to declare the variables. Let me give you a comment here. This is a declare integer variable. What do I mean by saying integer variable? See, integer variable means it will take only whole numbers. The next is string name. String name is equal to Mira. Here, if you observe, I have put double quotes here. The double quotes is put here because uh, string is a group of characters which are enclosed within double quotes. So if I don't put it within the double quotes, okay, when I compile this program, for example, I remove this double quotes, okay, uh, and I'm just putting a semicolon here. If I'm going to compile this program, you can see that it is going to show me an error saying that it is not able to find. So whenever we declare a variable as string, we need to enclose the string in double quotes because a string literal is basically a group of characters which are enclosed within double quotes. The next variable, the variable that I declared is average marks, which is of the type float. See, float variables are variables which are of the real data type that means real means they are going to have decimal numbers after the number here i have put an f here because by default java takes the uh, default data type uh, for a real variable is double so here uh, since i have declared as float i need to put this f uh, suffix otherwise what happens we will see if i remove this f suffix here and compile the program it will say that there is possible loss of precision precision means after the decimal how many numbers it's going to come accurately so for that i need to put this it can be capital f or small f so once i put an f here and then compile it shows class compile no syntax errors the next uh, next uh, uh, the variable that i've declared is char char grade is equal to a Character data types in Java, they have to be enclosed within single quotes. Whereas the string has to be enclosed in double quotes. Whereas here, I have put single quotes for character data type. If you observe here. So if I'm going to put a double quotes here, just let us see what's going to happen here. So when I say compile again, it says incompatible types. Because Java is a strongly typed language and it is case sensitive language also. So here I cannot put double quotes because when, I, when it sees a double quotes, it assumes that variable is to be a string. But since it's a character, it is going to take the single quotes. Okay. All these small details you need to keep in mind when you are typing the programs in Java. Next, I'm going to print whatever I have taken from the user. Uh, whatever I have declared here as the, uh, sorry, I haven't taken anything from the user in this program. I've directly assigned the values. So, which is the assignment operator here? The equal to is the assignment operator. What is the duty of the, what is the role of the assignment operator? The assignment operator, whatever is available here, that is on your right hand side, is assigned to the left hand side. So this data which is stored here is being stored here. Okay. So 10 when I put here, the, it, it is being put into the roll number. Here we should know variables are named memory locations. I think one of my videos I told you they are like memory boxes and in each box I'm putting the value. So roll number box has this value 10. Name box has the value Mira. And then I'm going to declare these variables. Here I have put roll number backslash t plus roll. Here backslash t is known as the escape sequence. Escape sequence means they are non-graphic characters. For example, here backslash t is the tab key. See, these keys cannot be typed on the keyboard. If you observe, you have the tab key, the enter key, the space key, which is not cannot be typed on the uh, keyboard. So these characters, like for example, backslash t, this is a backslash here. Okay, this is a backslash here. And then after that, there is a character followed by it. So these uh, are known as escape sequence in Java. So if I put a backslash t here, 
what happens? It goes to the next slide. Okay. So, you want your output to be in this particular format. So, we have put a backslash T so that the there is a gap between the, uh, the column heading and then the data. After that, we have the name, average marks and grade. Now, let us compile this program, run the program and just see the output. Okay. See, there are no errors now. I close this. I right click. Go to void main. Okay. Then click on OK. And can you see this? This is the output. Roll number 10, name, era, average marks, and grade is equal to A. Okay. So, this is a small program where we are directly assigning the values in the program. Okay. So, for example, now let me say I change this name to 20 and I give some other name. Okay. Uh, say Smith. Yes. And I make this uh, different changes here. Okay. And then I need to compile again. Close. Right click. Void main. Okay. And then click on OK. And then you get these values. So here you should, I mean every time I want a new value, I can go and change the program and I can do it. But there is a better way of doing this. You can take the input from the user. You can accept the input from the user and get different values whatever the user wants. For that, you need to learn the scanner class. Okay. Which I will be telling you in my next video. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. If you like, share and subscribe. Thank you.